This video demonstrates how to decode SPI communication using only a pencil and paper. The SPI signals have already been captured on the oscilloscope. For more details, please refer to the video titled, SPI Decoding with an Oscilloscope. Since writing on the oscilloscope screen is not advisable, the waveforms are printed on paper instead. The top waveform represents the MOSI data line, while the bottom waveform represents the clock line. The SPI master controls the data traffic on the MOSI data line and provides the SPI clock signal via the clock line. During each clock cycle, MOSI transmits a single bit of data. In this particular case, the SPI communication mode is configured such that the idle state of the clock signal is a high voltage. Data bits are shifted onto the data line on odd clock edges and sampled on even clock edges. Now we start to decode the SPI data signals. First, compare the waveform on the paper to that on the oscilloscope to ensure they match. The odd clock edges are individually marked with a yellow highlighter. At the odd clock edges, the data sending side shifts data bits onto the MOSI data line by changing the voltage accordingly. In other words, the data sender outputs data at that moment. The even clock edges are individually marked with a green highlighter. At the even clock edges, the data receiving side samples data bits from the MOSI data line by reading the voltage state. In other words, the data receiver captures data at that moment. Now, the voltage state at the even clock edges can be converted into binary values, bit by bit. A high voltage represents the value 1, while a low voltage represents the value 0. Referring to the American Standard Code for Information Interchange Binary Character Table, we can determine the corresponding letter character that matches the binary value we just decoded. This first byte represents the letter character T. Next, we will quickly decode the following two SPI signals.
In the end, we obtain the three letters TPG. As the final step, the SPI decoding function of the oscilloscope is activated to double-check the decoding result. They match each other as expected. Hopefully, this video can provide you with a little deeper insight into the behavior of SPI communication. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more content like this. Thank you for watching.